Thank you. A record amount is expected to be spent online today because it's Cyber Monday. They're rolling out the deals and we are talking about billions of dollars being spent all in one day. That's a lot of money. And of <laughs> course, a lot of those orders will be through Amazon.com. Local 4's Nick Monticelli is live at the Amazon facility in Sterling Heights, which is just an amazing facility. He's there now with a look behind the scenes. Good morning, Nick. Kim, good morning. Uh, it's kind of amazing to walk through this place and just try to comprehend how all of this works, right? Semi trucks unload the packages, they go on conveyor belts and fly around the whole building. They get put on these shelves, and then they get to a truck and they get to your home. And Jessica Paul knows exactly how all that works. But we wanted to talk about the fact that sometimes, sometimes when you order a package, it comes in the original packaging. So yes. what do we do about that? What if I'm buying Hot Wheels, the, is this a big toy? What is the this? The Ultimate Garage, Ultimate yeah. Ultimate Garage. What if I'm buying this for my boys, but I don't want that package to show up that way? Is there something I can do, or do I just need to know about it? Yeah, so there's a few different options you have. When you're ordering the product online, if it's able to be reboxed in Amazon's kind of generic brown packaging, that will be an option for you to check. So take advantage of it. You will see that it could arrive um, with, with with being very package. visibly what right. the gift and is. And it tells you that. It says yes. this may come as. It'll let you know. Yeah. And then there are other options, too. So using the Amazon app, you can do map tracking to see how far your delivery driver is away. So you can run out to the porch and so grab it. you can stop your driver. Exactly. <laughs> you can also ask the driver to leave the package at the side of the house or even like the back of the house, if right. you wish. Right. Um, and those are just customizations that you can leave in the application itself. And then you could also use the hubs, right? Yes, so okay. Amazon also has several hubs and locker locations throughout the Metro Detroit area. In fact, one of our hubs is right here in this building where customers can have packages delivered and then they can come and pick them up at their leisure. Right, so yeah. that way your kids don't know, your right. husband doesn't know, yes. whoever it is you're shopping for. Yes, right? yeah. All right, so that's really cool. And while we're here, I, I want to point something out that you showed me earlier. This is really neat. So man behind the camera mic over there. So. Well, she's scanning packages. Notice the left-hand side there, that shelf just lit up. That's a guaranteed way for them to know exactly where that package is so it doesn't get lost, put on the wrong shelf. The technology is doing the work for them. Yeah, there's a lot of cool technology in this building, and this is an example of one of the, the pieces of technology that one of our associates actually came up with. So it makes life easier on our employees. Um, between this uh, kind of like lighting support and then muscle memory, it just makes the job more efficient. Right, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, Jessica, thank you so much. We appreciate that. So, Kim and Rhonda, there's so much happening right here and so much to talk about. And so we talked about, you know, how many packages, or I asked the question, how many packages come through this one facility? This is just one of several in Metro Detroit. Over 100,000 packages every single day. Wow. wow. That is a that lot of That move in food, and Kim. move out. So all the packages that we see in there right yeah. now, they'll be gone by the end of the day. They will be. Not, not by the end of the day. They'll be gone by about 1230. <laughs> so they do the overnight shift to bring all the stuff in. Wow. They sort it. And then by about 930, the trucks come in. It's all loaded up and they're gone by 1230. And they start all over again about midnight. Pretty impressive. Very impressive. Thanks for taking us inside, Nick. He didn't explain how to make sure hide it from your credit card statement. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole nother story. <laughs> Still ahead. I'm to that. Yes. The call to have